this is something every player don't want to see. When players feel like they're ready, coaches feel like they're not. But heading to this game against Ole Miss rivalry, they coming in at number 16, we coming in at number 7. Idris set out something to prove moving forward. He feel like he deserved that title of being wide receiver number one. What more can he do? Now, at this point of the season, he just feel like what more do he has to do? One of the hottest receivers in the SEC as a freshman at that, let alone an entire country. So he felt like, what more do I got to do to show you all that I'm deserving of the wide receiver number one position, despite if they are a senior, sophomore, he didn't care. Now, despite that he only had two catches in a rivalry game against Ole Miss, he still felt like he deserved that number one wide receiver spot as we end up winning that game 51 to 26. Into the bowl season, Georgia will face off against Alabama. Georgia win the SEC East and Alabama, even though we beat them in head to head, they got the top spot in the SEC West. And look at this. Bro, fourth place in the Heisman voting. Fourth place as a freshman wide receiver. Now, going into this ball game, Fiesta Bowl, we are facing number three, Michigan. They coming in at 11 to 1. We coming in at 10 and 2, third and 12. We catch the pass and we get tackled just short of the first down. We're going to go ahead and go with the same play. We get a catch and keep the drive alive. Pick up, up seven on the play, second and six, trying to do the defender. We catch it in this quite short, inch short of crossing the goal line, first and goal, and we end up catching the touchdown in this bowl game. I don't know how the quarterback fit that pass in there, but third and two, we catch it underneath. We do one defender, and we pick up 13 and a first down, second and 10. Now, at this point, Idris is moving forward. He is in his bag. <laughs> Even like... You you just like he feel like he has that chip on his shoulder like he like he's gonna prove everybody wrong that he deserved the number one wide receiver spot. Even if the coaching staff like he believe in himself as rightfully everyone should, but he feels like the coaches not don't trust him one hundred percent. I mean, what more does this kid have to fucking do to just say here you are our go to guy? He feels like he feels that way, but he feel like the coaching staff don't feel the same way. So, to prove them all wrong, you know what I mean? He he will stay. He's not transferring. And we got two seniors just graduating, so it, it, it's definitely gonna be you know open season as far as wide receiver number one position. And they get an interception. They are creeping closer and closer. We definitely don't want that to happen. So Edu decided to take the matter to his own hands once again i don't have to keep <laughs> repeating myself this dude is in his bag moving forward as we end up beating michigan in that bowl game bro like i say he's in his bag this season he's proved the coaching staff wrong he going to prove them wrong everybody wrong he had seven catches 58 yards in the one score but his go-to thing is kick return y'all see what he did at kick return i keep speaking on as i said He's out to prove everybody wrong. Jumping to the second season year two, going against first game against Ole Miss. First catch of the season, and that is good for 22 and a first down, third and one. You cannot, you can't contain this kid. I don't care. This just, this dude is another Tyreek Hill slash Kadarius Tony, bro. He is that special. We run back to back, same plays, first and go. We get our first touchdown of the season as we end up running in. First and 10, the quarterback is looking for this kid. They pick up a first down, but it did get popped though. Ain't gonna cap. Second and five right here. Will Rodgers, he know who to go to. He knows who to go to. They don't have them two, uh, you know, upper seniors. They left, they graduating right here, bro. Bro, we had him gone. But smart play by the linebacker. 30 seconds left in the first half. We up 21 to 14, bro. This DB is lost. <laughs> like, for real. He is lost. We pick up a first down. Eight seconds left. First and 10. Let's see if we can make something happen. We absolutely do. We catch it and get out of bounds. Smart choice right there by Idris right here. 
Bro, I know we didn't run around. Half of these routes we don't run, but if you get an opp opportunity like that, bro, <laughs> I don't know. If you got an opportunity to make plays or make a play, make a damn play. And that's what this kid, you know, moving forward. That's what that's bro. I'm telling y'all, he's in his bag this year. And being that he's a redshirt sophomore, he could leave after this season. You know what I mean? As he pick up 18 and another first down, you know, like I say, depending on how good he play, he might enter the draft after this year. As we end up beating, you know, beating Southern Miss, bro, look at the numbers, bro. He just getting started. Second game of the season, man, we going against UAB. They seen that one and no. We catch a pass across the middle, bro. He can't say slant against the open space. He is gone. Just like this play right here. This dude is is a fucking menace, bro. As he can't take another touchdown pass. We up 17 to nothing on UAB. Look at that DB playing off. Rightfully so. I'm yo, this dude is special. As we get 43 on that last play. I don't know if, bro, if you got a receiver torture you like this? Like what? Like, don't you think you would put help on over top double team or something? This point, like I said, how do you stop somebody like this? A one-handed catch and that's good for your first down. Like seriously, like, how do you stop somebody like this? Our teammates are showing up and showing out as we are running away with this game, 31 to eight. Look at the DB playing off. Don't want to get beat deep. As rightfully so, bro. <laughs> this dude, bro. If y'all was to take him, you know, of course he's going to be a Madden 24. I'm going to get there early. Um, what team do y'all think needs wide receiver help? As we end up blowing out UAB, but look at the stats, bro. And after that game, the coaching staff got together and said, hey, we should, we been should have did this. Ben should have gave this kid a shot. And look, look at this now, bro. Wide receiver number one moving forward. But it's your boy, CRE. We gone. I wanna salute every nigga who run with me. And it's a secret everything that you done with me. Cause it's a couple niggas that practice loyalty. Family.